be my friend You had better go and get a pen And maybe we can keep in touch Like, like we did, did in the old days It wasn't so long ago And I wish you well How does he get the air to do that? Sign your pen uh, have you ever taken breathing exercises? I need to because no, even but just singing oh, our yeah. theme song, which is like what twenty seconds, thirty seconds, you hit hey, that part. You're like, "Wish guess. you well," and you're like, ah. <laughs> "I bet you it's thirty six <laughs> seconds long." The whole theme song, uh huh. Sixty one, seventy two. <laughs> Wait, it's a what minute was your major? and a half. What was your major in college? Uh, communication. Journalism, communications, communications degree is what I have. I don't even know what that means. It's I've uh, never known. My whole life, people be like, "I'm in commun- I'm in comms, comms, Com- comms." Do people call it comms? God, I wish I would have called it comms. You know what's so funny is that my whole post college life, even in college, when I said uh, that I was a communications major, yeah, I I took communications specifically because I didn't. What really does that know, even mean? Well, I'm gonna explain. It. I oh, didn't really right. know what I wanted to be, but it falls into all things media fall into communications oh, but okay. under communications uh you could take you know elective courses that were all film i want to do film sure and i was like oh that's the only way i can do this one film class where you actually get to make something or a film class like the history of film right. uh i did a thing on like um like black exploitation films like it's it got specific these sure, are electives yeah. but you could take these specific uh, courses and I took them because I was like, oh, I'm going to do communications because that's where those film classes count towards that degree. So that's why I took it. But the focus of it was uh, journalism, which wasn't something I necessarily cared about. Right. But in the world of journal- journalism, I was like, ah, you do get to write. You can be someone who's like, you know, I sort of thought I would do like uh, pieces for like news or something, sure. not knowing what I want to do with my life. People would go, oh, yeah, communications because it's a bullshit major and you do all this stuff. But as I've aged and what I learned in communications is interesting because not only is my life based in communications, True. but the people giving giving people shit who major in communications, I don't think they understand that that is one of the most important things you could possibly take. The entire successes like and failures can... of civilization are based on communication. It's based 100%. on human communication. It's based on environmental communication. It is based on when people go, well, the universal languages are music, um, music and mathematics. Well, wh- how did we come to that? Did we communicate that we <laughs> thought that that was like a thing? So it, like the, the literally all things good or bad in the world of like, successes as humanity a lot of it has so much to do with communication that it almost blows my mind like when someone goes ah the relationship didn't work lack of communication (laughs) like oh you mean that heartbeat of a thing that matters Mm -hmm. in relationships not even uh romantic ones just friendships or communications between countries and leaders and I don't know. I could get pretty passionate because I I, because when people would give me shit about it I always kind of be like no that is why I took it that is why I got into it. Yeah, so like, I can take these film classes. Who gives a fuck? It's easy. But I always thought communications, that is how it was treated as like a blow-off degree. It is. Like yeah. a history oh, degree. Oh, it's still like that because people will say that. But some people are like, yeah, I did I did this, but communications, because it's like easy. It's like, I don't know. I took a class called human communication, and it was the most fulfilling class I've ever taken of anything in my life teaching people the basics of communicating yeah. with other people down to a simple uh, scenario of if you are the host at a restaurant and two people walk in at the same time, I remember this was a question on the thing. It was like, do you assume that those two people are together or is the communication with them to still communicate as though maybe they just arrived at the same time and for you not to assume that because they've come through this door at the same time, these people are here together. Now, I know I'm saying that, and people are like, that sounds so stupid, but think about that on a bigger what scale you- of your assumptions of who people are and what they're doing based on a visual of like, yeah, but Daniel, you walked in the door with that woman. Is that not your wife? And you're like, I don't know who that is. I just held right. the door. <laughs> How do you just like, deal with it? Well, you just you learn that you shouldn't, that, that assumptions I would are just the worst thing you could possibly do. I was like, hey, the spacing's throwing me off. Are you guys together? Exactly. That's great communication. That is a form of communication where you're going, 
Hey, I'm also telling you something about me. Hey, the spacing is throwing me off. You've said so much about who you are and how you operate and think and how much you're willing to go. Hey, I'm confused. Whereas other people might go, oh, I would never say that. I don't want anyone to know I'm confused. Why? And it, that's a form of personal communication. But don't you? This you have you no and I. problem you and I, saying you're confused. That's because you and I. You and I almost like to let people know. Of course. We're confused. Because that's our, our form of communication. It's you'd rather look at someone and go, hey, just so you know, this is where I stand. You and I are very yeah. much like, hey, I want the group to know where I stand. Almost sometimes the group's like, we don't need to know. <laughs> but, well, you know, there's tell, other people who would never that. go, like, I'm sorry, I'm confused. They would go, oh, no, I c that would be awful. Then they would think I'm dumb. And you, you and I would say, going, well, that's not true. But in that person's reality, they're like, yeah, but that's what I'm communicating. If someone walks in and I say I'm confused, Do you I know what I heard when that. you said dumb? I'd be like, no, I'm just telling you I'm uninformed. That yeah. doesn't make me I know. dumb just because I don't have the information. I, I have a feeling I've inspired you to maybe Do, go get a communications, communications degree. <laughs> Daniel goes back to school. You're Rodney Dangerfield. I'm your limo driver. Triple Lindy, baby. <laughs> wasn't, you know Polly, wasn't Polly his driver? Yeah. I Polly so. from Rocky? Yeah. Do you know what's crazy about that movie? About Sam Kinison and Kurt Vonnegut in the same yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah, and that's Same scene, right? I don't remember. When they're doing the review? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Um, when I think of the review, my brain quickly goes, was Huey Lewis there? And I go, no, that was Back to the Future, same <laughs> setup. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, uh, the reason I asked you all that, and then, like, let's just go, uh, was because that was, like, a big part of my college was breathing exercises. Yeah. Dude, just a conservatory l laying on your yeah. back. I remember It's huge. I was, like, six days out from Rochelle, Illinois, it's like, fifth day of college, and they're having me lay on my back. Uh, breathing through my hips as though I'm in a swaying swamp. And I was like, the fuck am I doing I here? love it. God, I love all oh, that. Oh, now? I'm yeah. like, can we just dim some lights and I'll lay down? Oh, I would have we'll made fun breathe. of it forever. I didn't even know how to make fun of it because I didn't understand what the hell we are doing. And then you do like this thing. You ever do that? Shake weight? <laughs> Miming a shake weight? No, it's like a <laughs> chin loosening. I guarantee you. Just buy a shake weight, She's touching Daniel. her mouth. <laughs> it's a whole like, you know, can you do it? Try what it. What is it? You have to What am I supposed to tightness? What is it? Is the point to break your own neck? No. Yours is like you're getting that. You know what you are? You're like, I'm like terrified of it. You're like the guy who can carry the thing by himself while moving, and you'll get it into the house, but you're going to hurt yourself. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm like wrecked for a year. <laughs> right? No, it's just now real, he's still going to the chiropractor. It's just real loose. That's way something about <laughs> when you do it. I don't know. Maybe it's when I do it too. But I can only see. I don't you. know that I could ever do it because the sound immediately makes me laugh. <laughs> I bet I've never held a shake weight, but I bet I would produce the same I mean, results. I will admit, like there are certain <laughs> pornography that you could just dub on what the noise we're making <laughs> right into. <laughs> Sounds like you really like him. Jordan, Jordan walks in. What are you doing? Like, I'm not. This isn't what it looks like. <laughs> this isn't the silly version of what it looks oh. like. Is that a shake weight? That's um, a breathing exercise. Well, we, it's more of a vocal. Do we have any business? So, Should we do it? No, what yeah, we let's got? go. Yeah. Let's go to the letters! Okay. We got them? Hey, Rory. Yeah? Remind everybody. Patreon. Folks. Every week. Folks, every With week. With other stuff that we'll probably just decide to do. Every week, Who Patreon. Patreon. Daniel and I, up until this point, I don't know when we started the Patreon. It didn't start. We didn't start with it. No. But uh, whatever. We We've been doing that? two episodes a month if you join the Patreon. And there was a time frame where it's like, hey, you get a poster. You get all this stuff. And here's all these tiers. And then we have finally got our office. We finally got a studio. And then we finally realized, what are we doing? Let's make the Patreon $5. That's, it. That's all it is. It's yeah. just $5. And what do people get? They get one extra episode, a little bit shorter. Uh, a week. Yeah, but it's so a follow up. So you have to new, find out what follow up happened. letters. Four new episodes a month, which are just over, which are basically a dollar twenty five an episode. I mean, it's five dollars a month, or, or priceless, sixty dollars a year, and or priceless. Right. 
So but yeah, they're all follow up at. letters, or they're people yeah. following up on another pen pal's letter about yeah. how their life was affected or their perspective yeah. on that. So thing. if you love this show oh, and yeah. you're like, I want a little bit more, or I want to find out a follow up to whatever, join the Patreon. It's five dollars, or don't. No, we. Right. That's how easy we are. Right. You want to join it? Join it. If right. you do, if don't sit there and go, ah, these guys are just trying to milk us for money. We're not even telling you to join it. Mm-mm. We're saying if you like this and you want more. Join. You should join it. If you're a good person, you'll join. Okay. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> good day, gentlemen. That is the most respect we've ever gotten. I hope you are <laughs> both doing well. I'm in quite a pickle. I have been with my current boyfriend for 10 years. Is it, is it hard ten. to not read that in a British? <laughs> good day, gentlemen. Good I hope you're both doing well. I'm in I quite hope a pickle. you are both doing well. I'm in quite a pickle. <laughs> I've been with my current boyfriend for 10 years. 10. 10. 10. And he wants to get married. Naturally. He is a great guy, pretty easy to live with, and we have a solid friendship. Now you can feel it already. The but is that I feel there is a lack of chemistry and passion between us. Mm. I know this is pretty normal for being 10 years into a relationship, but it does bother me quite a bit. We've been trying actively to increase the romance, but he simply has a more utilitarian, say it. Utilitarian. Yep. View. I just got nervous about it. I don't know why. Uh, of course uh, you util- did. It's a crazy Utilitarian uh, view of the marriage than I do. Of marriage than I do. I think our current state is about as good as it can be between us. In short, it's good, but not ideal. I love him, but I don't feel like I'm in love with him. Yeah. The really tricky part is, and I know this will sound awful, is that I'm still in love with my high school boyfriend. Oh, that's, my re- my, that's my natural reaction. Ew. My relationship with this guy ended involuntarily due to a cultural difference. His parents disapproved and forced him to end things, after which he had some serious mental health difficulties and they transferred him to another school. Almost overnight, I lost my best friend and first love. It was very traumatic and I still feel like I never truly got over it. Even after all these years, I still get choked up just thinking about it. Due to his family situation, I know it would be almost impossible for a relationship to work out with this guy, even now that we're almost 30 years old. But I've never been able to stop thinking about him. I've tried and tried to forget him, but I think the lack of closure and involuntary nature of our breakup has prevented me from doing so. Needless to say... I feel horrible because my lingering feelings towards my high school boyfriend feels like a betrayal to my current partner. I don't know how to move forward romantically while I have this conflict inside of me. Do I just accept that I will have to live with my feelings for my high school boyfriend and marry someone else despite this? Do I end things with my current partner and let him find someone who could be in love with him? Or I should say be in love with him, even though he is in love with me. I don't want to end up alone, but if I can't be with the person I really want, is it wrong to be with someone else? I know you can't tell me what I should do, but I'd like to hear your perspectives. If nothing else, maybe you will be able to make me laugh about this mess. I could really use a laugh. Sincerely, Confused. P.S. The following is background information that you might find useful whether you read it out loud or not. Well, we did. Neither my current boyfriend nor my high school boyfriend know I feel this way. I'm not in cahoots with the high school boyfriend or anything like that. To clarify, I'm not in love with who my high school boyfriend was as a teenager, but with the man he is today. We still casually chat once in a while via social media, but we are not close. My current boyfriend is aware that we chat sometimes. Roar. Bing, bong, bing, bang, bong, bing, ding, <laughs> dong, in, ding. It, well, they heard it. Oh. Uh, Roar. I never know if it's going to get dropped in or not, so I do it. That's you like a, to cover it? It's a safety. You got one for it's coverage. It's a safety. It's Honestly, we have options. Right. We have options. Um, Roar. I, I got to say, it's a tough situation. There's no way around it. I appreciate this letter a lot. And I, I bet s- you this is actually one of the... Strangely, I would go out on a limb and say this might be one of the more relatable letters to a massive amount of people than, than we would think. Can I ask you a simple question? Of course. Is it just that if it ain't right, it ain't right? I think so. I think so. In fact... If it ain't right, it ain't right. But working backwards... A little bit. Sometimes if it is right, it ain't right. But if it ain't right, it ain't right. Yeah. I I think uh, where's in here it says. What do you want? I'll help. She asked if it was wrong or not. And I just want to say that, that, that right and wrong should not be considered right. uh, in this. And in, in, in here's what I think. In my, my short of it also is this. You do not get to decide or choose 
how you feel about people. Chemistry, baby. Yeah, you don't decide right? that. You don't decide it. Right. You don't decide that you still love or don't love your high school boyfriend. You don't decide that you love or still love your current partner. So in the in terms of how you feel about people, to me, there is no right or wrong. It's just what it is. The right or wrong, in my opinion, comes into play with how you, your decisions you make and how they're going to affect you and the honesty that you bring to your relationship. Sure. So I would say, personally, uh, I think it's wrong to yourself to remain in a relationship that you don't want to be a part of. And I also think it's wrong of you to treat a partner that way. If they are in love with you and you know that you're not in love with them, this is an F2F sitch mm -hmm. that gets you to the RRGT. But that F2F is not easy to say, I don't feel the same way you feel about me. There isn't a right or wrong in that because that's just how it is. Right. But it's wrong to keep a facade up because that person's investing a lot of love in you. But she might say under she's the trying. impression, it isn't a like. I'm gonna I've checked I'm, out. Sure, I'm gonna go mean? on the. I'm gonna I'm gonna go down the road of. I know for a fact it's not the one. That's what I'm gonna go. I, that's what I'm reading in this right. is that it's just not this new guy. And new you guy. believe that there's and you believe that there's ones, yeah. right? What, what do you mean? Like there's multiple people in the world that you could have Mi a been million, happy for a million. With. So it's not the one. It's that this. It, yeah. He isn't the w one of the ones. Yes. I got to say it is a part of our lives that you you and, and I could be wrong about this. I'm this is me going hypothetically. But you've built something up in your mind about this high school boyfriend and what things could be and how they'd be. Even though you have maintained communication on social media, it doesn't necessarily mean that that, that space that you and he would share is as good or better than what you currently have. You just, you don't know. You well, have it might no be idea. better in some ways and worse in others. Exactly. That's why I mean. Like so, great, great chemistry, yeah. bad compatibility. I would personally say don't bank on, well, I should get out of this relationship because I think this other one. But don't you? would may, Maybe there's something special in this other one because I feel different about this person. Ten years. Ten. Let's, say, let's say she decided to get back together with her high school boyfriend. But whatever I, that's reason. not even a possibility. Ten, 10 years later, let's say it is. Okay. But 10 years into that relationship, are we sitting here going, well, you could end up feeling the way you feel today about this guy. It's always possible. But isn't that then the where the marriage part comes in? What do you that mean? That even if you do go get into a, a space of like, it just feels compatible but not romantic, that you're like, well, you're married. So. Well, I, I disagree. I think that, I, I don't think that should like be. people like stick that out. That's not, I, I don't know that that's a good enough reason to leave somebody. But if you're dating someone yeah. and it feels non-romantic but just compatible, then that I, can be a, a good enough reason. Sure, well, somebody. if there's some people that don't need that. I mean, I personally need that romance. I yeah, would well, need I think that so connection. Does I need that intimacy. I need that, like, you know, sort of uh, physical attraction to each other. Right. Like, that think, matters a lot in my relationship. So if I didn't have that, and I'm, I, I, I will say this now, like, even with my wife, who I've been with for 17, 17 years. years, I mean, a very long time. I have a child with, we have a home together. Mm -hmm. We have been together through an inc a crazy amount of phases of growth, yeah. of personal change. I have probably been five different people to my wife over the think, course. How many of, think she's been? She's still just been great. Uh, just <laughs> one person. Um, she's more mature. Um, I'm still <laughs> getting to know myself. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, I, I would say in all of that, if if something adjusted and we couldn't fix it, we tried to yeah, fix yeah, it, yeah. I wouldn't just stay in it and just be like, well, we're compatible and we have a daughter. I would just go, I, I know, but I don't think this is, I don't think it's right. But you'd probably give that a few years. I wouldn't, it wouldn't be a rushed right, decision. Right, yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Um, but also, and if it was a rushed decision, that means one of us knew and never communicated it when they felt it. They decided to go, I'm not, what if I, like, Here's a great way to do it. Let's say I don't like doing this podcast anymore. Fuck. But let's say let's say that. Sure. And I go, but I don't know. I'll keep doing it because I know Daniel really loves it. Right. Even three years, if you look back and you go, I don't know the the three the 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 three years of the six the past three years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just hasn't felt the same. I mean, the show is fine and people sure. still listen. Blah blah blah. Yeah. But the it doesn't seem as fun to like do it anymore. And then I go, I know I felt like that three years ago. You would be like, why didn't you? Say, like 
if I would have said that, you might have been like, man, one conversation might have put us back on the right track sure. or made us decide we didn't want to do it anymore. Right. But if I don't say it, then I, what? Then then we can't fix it. Then we can't make adjustments. So with that Fish, example, what I'm saying is telling this other dude that maybe you're not in love with him could could be a, a, a catalytic moment. Is that a word? Cataclysm? Watershed? Catalyst? It could be a watershed Pathetic? moment where yeah. he... Goes well. Fuck. Let's talk. And maybe you go. Oh, we've never talked. We've I wonder never if they have. This. Well, she says we've been trying to actively increase the romance, but he simply has more of a utilitarian. What does that mean, by the way? Utilitarian. Is that more like? I was going to ask you the same thing. I'm uninformed. Lissa, there's no way all three of us don't know. Right, Lissa. Do you know? All right, utilitarian. She's out. She's out. Okay, correct. That's, and that's she why. Well, there goes. If you don't know that word, why would we give you? <laughs> what a mic? We don't know. Why would we? Give if you, you don't a know a that word, why would you get to have a, have a show? <laughs> Have a show. It's not even being on this one. It's having her own. Um, Lissa has a secret I podcast. Think, okay, that we wait, don't let's know make about our guess. Analyzing let's us. make our guess. Utilitarian. I I I think it means very like ones and zeros. It's just like I get on top of you and then I roll off and then yeah. you you go get yourself a towel. I think I feel like that. I feel it also feels like. Um, and not that this is the case, but I feel like an extension of that is like, well, I'm a man and this is what I'm supposed to do and feel. And you're a woman and this is what you're supposed to do and feel. And I think it's very much like you're saying it's ones and zeros as opposed to going, yeah, but where's all the color? The person's going, well, we have black and we have white and we right. and that's how we operate. And you Says go, the guy that loves ah, vanilla. There's blues. <laughs> there's blue in there. Yeah. There's red. Yeah. There's purple. There's pink. There's yellow. It's, um, it's structured or practical. Practical. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think, think that makes it. it less exciting. So I don't know. So I what? Mean, what? What do? Sh- what does? What do they do? What I would do, I would pitch it to the high school boyfriend. Hey, do we try this out? Because no, you're adults. Gonna, that isn't going to happen. But that here's the thing: you're wait, adults. Hold on, you're not gonna, even you're, out of the other thing. No, I. I, I sure. I. I think you go have an honest conversation with current boyfriend. Is my, it over? My prediction is it's over. I think it's over, unless you sit and have a conversation and go. I, I just don't think yeah, it's I, worth it to anybody to, to be in a relationship you don't want to like, be in. Well, also, it'll be like to ask them to change. Yeah. Because it isn't. Yes. Because here's, here's relationships, nobody, like you said, right or wrong, nobody's doing anything wrong. Exactly. You're just different. Yes. And you don't control it. And sometimes you weren't that different when you started. Yeah. And sometimes you go different and come back. I think that's sometimes how marriages work or like, I kind of like. Needed some space for a while yeah. and kind of, I was in, I was out in the shed a lot or whatever, like whatever. Yeah. But like, I, I think that in the dating scene, it's like, I think you, you might've just reached a point where you need more. Yes. We talked about this with Casey Rose Wilson, where we said sometimes someone was the perfect person for you in your thirties. Yes. Time is, yeah, things are moving and changing you constantly. Sad, Roar is... You got into a 10-year relationship. That was probably a great... That probably made sense. But when it stops making sense, you have to have a conversation to see if things can change, because maybe they do. But if they don't, or the other person doesn't want to, then you go, oh, well, we've communicated. I think that's... I think we did what we came to do. But you know what's sad? Is I think for a lot of people, it's like... Like, let's just look in the context of this letter here. For 10 years, they're like, but I've invested all this time and we have all of this uh, history, all these things yeah. we've gone through together. Yeah. How can I end it? Yeah. And I wonder if sometimes the way to look at it is not, you haven't invested any time. Yes. Because investment means that there's supposed to be some big payoff, yes. right? What you have done is... Uh, it's already been used and spent. Yes. That was the person you were there with when that happened. Yes. That was the person that you went through that thing together, and then it's over. If yes. you look at it in terms of food, you don't go, well, I can't go buy more groceries. I just bought all those groceries a week ago and ate them. Yeah. Yeah, they're gone. Yes. So it's already been used. Yeah. To say, like, well, I have to marry this person because they but were... Go, also, staying on that note, though, before you change it over, oh, it's ahead. also as simple as going... Hey, Dan, I noticed that you went to the grocery store and I noticed that you don't buy those potato chips anymore. And you just go, yeah, I don't like them anymore. Right. And I should I sit there and go, but you should still like them because you did the, like them. Yeah, think of all the years you I've go, spent watching yeah, you eat those potato chips. I've watched chips. you eat them and I know that you love them. And that's why 
I, I bought some for you because I know you love them. You go, but I don't anymore. And and you go and I go, well, why did you decide to stop liking them? And you go, I didn't. I, I didn't. I did. I didn't even have. I wanted something. Myself else. had no part of the <laughs> decision making yeah. process. Like if I it, it just like I think we talked about this before, but go ahead. You know your favorite movie, movie is Stand by Me. I've heard. And I sit here and I go, Daniel, don't like Stand by Me. You can't go. There isn't a world where you can go. Okay. okay. You can't. Right. Even if I said, I will kill you if you keep liking it, you would go, there's nothing I can why, do. Why, yeah. why it's are not you something. <laughs> also the weirdest hypothetical. But you no, can't but you're decide. Wrong. You can't decide. Right. And it's the same with love. And it's the same with who you like. And it's the same with having a crush. And it's the same with like, you know, how you feel about anybody and anything. You don't get to decide. It's just there. And so... To me, the decisions to make are to, 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 to trim this down. How honest of a conversation do you want to have with your current boyfriend? And I think you should have one. I think we both agree on that. You should have an honest F2F. Can I ask you a question? About in how that, you in f- that currently though, feel. Is it more, is the conversation, you're going to, let's say I'm the boyfriend, right? And yeah. you're confused. Yeah. And so you're going to have the conversation to me. Are you more talking from a perspective of Daniel, here's what you don't give me? Or are you speaking from a Daniel, I, Rory, feel blank. I, Rory, need blank. I, rather than, hey, you just aren't, you aren't chips I like anymore. I it's more like my chips. It's got to be you. Changed. It's got to be you. It's got to be you saying, in, in this example, it's got to be me saying me. I have to be like, look, I, f- this is how I feel. And I'm and asking this you is to how, be I, how long I you felt want. this way. And it isn't on you to make me happy. It's not on me to make. You happy? I mean, I I think one thing I I saw, I read about with like Jada and Will, like the the Smith family sure. that's always popping up, yeah, yeah, yeah. is that he or she they they had said, um, it isn't it isn't my job. Like let's say for that, it isn't my job to make Daniel happy, and it isn't Daniel's job to make me happy. Our lives, it's our own individual pursuits to find happiness and see where it comes from and what it is. And I fully believe in that. It doesn't mean that you can't both be there for each other. I might find happiness because Daniel gives me support, but it isn't your job to make sure you supporting me leads to some kind of happiness. It's, it's a weight that you're not meant to carry. It's not for uh, this space is that this is our space. This, this right here is our, as friends, this is our collective space that we've decided. And we both go, yeah, I show up and I'm here to do it. And you show up and you're here to do it. But it's not my job to make sure that you're showing up for me and me showing up for you. We have that relationship where yeah, we yeah, do yeah. it, but that's not our jobs. It's right. just who we are. And we know, hey, I actually like it when Daniel and I are hitting it off and we yeah. have this thing going. But that's what I mean. If that stopped and you were like, no, I still love it. It's on me to go, but I don't. Right. Because otherwise... It's a, it's a facade for you, and I'm like, and then I, I'm just going to go through this guilty cycle. That's why I think a hardcore F2F with that boyfriend, and I think that's a great question. How do you approach it? What do you say? I don't know what those words are, but I think it's honestly about how you feel. I don't think it's smart to come in, like, let's say I didn't like the podcast, for me to come in and go, here's what I think you're doing wrong. That is not going to, there's right. no there's no productivity to come from that. Right. It's just an, an accusation and and it can and be it hurtful. Matter. I think it can also hurt any potential growth, because now you're going to go away going, "Oh my god, I was just shamed," or like I felt yeah. this way, as opposed to if it was communicated. No, that's right. Coming full circle, communication. Um, if it was communicated properly, you might go. I've also wanted to make changes, and I haven't. I, I thought you liked, you might be like, Rory, but I just kept this facade up because I thought you liked it. And then yeah. we came to an agreement because one of us just spoke up to say, I don't like it. And then we go, oh, fuck, we both agree. Oh, my God. Right. There's a chance this guy goes, I know what you mean. We're not a good couple right now. I just worry about confused Boom. because Fixed. I feel like she probably feels like the bad guy. I and want I that. To, that's what I want to say. I think sometimes it can break your heart like the bad guy. to break somebody's heart. Of course. And you think you're a bad guy, but it, it, it it's hard. It's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy. But don't feel like a bad guy and don't feel like you're doing something wrong. Um, don't accept you have to live with your feelings. But I would say if you feel like Probably it's an impossibility to ever date the high school guy again, I personally don't think it is. I, th- I, th- I would eliminate the parents and just go, hey, our lives are our lives. We're adults. We're going to go live somewhere. We could be. Who knows what our lives could be? And maybe he's thinking it too. 
Um, I wouldn't let the parents get in the way if you think that's a possibility. However, I'd also put out there, maybe both of these guys aren't the guy. Don't no. build a story no, think, in you your mind of is? what you think can happen. I would say live in right now. And right now, you know the relationship you're in is maybe one you don't want to be in. But don't build up in your mind the story of what things would be like with the high school guy because they could be worse. They could be great. They could be worse. You don't know. I think I think for me, she, if I had to guess, and w- again, we are not professionals. You do have we to just guess. give a shit. Um, she, there is no passion in her tenure. Yep. relationship yeah and i imagine the thing with the guy had a lot of passion even though they were young it was cut short and, and no closure and so what she's actually realizing she really needs in her life is passion passion and it and it probably isn't going to happen with either one of those two cause hashtag passion. passion yeah how do you want to spell it that's up to dealer's choice that's up to uh, the, that's old adam i don't get the, okay. the shan man gets hashtag to pick passion. that out <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, knowing Shan Man, like Shan Man is probably going to go S H A N and try to get a little bit of himself in there, and I don't fault him for that. I do. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I think it's about passion, and you're realizing that you need passion in your life. And uh, please, please, please let, let us, us know. know please let us know because this is a follow up that's oh that's God, got I some know. juice to it. This is okay. this is drama. All right, thank you so much. Uh, I don't think we made made uh, confused laugh in any way whatsoever. Oh, I think the. Uh, Utilitarian, is it you too? You told it's you too, Latarian, and no, it's the new album in by you too. <laughs> I thought you were saying you too, Latarian, you too, Latarian, and that's another band putting <laughs> okay, out. We can't. <laughs> All right, we wish you well. Sincerely, your pen pals, Daniel Van Kirk and Rory Van Scovel. And, and we are back. back. Here. That was a note. That was that, that's the worst note. No, not just you. Oh, both I've of been, us. Yeah, but I really had a voice back. I, um, are you stealing clothes from physical? I do steal some clothes. No, I bought this bonobos. You guys want to advertise on our show? Let us know, bonobos. I'm wearing a for. lot of your clothing. Um, it's good. Um, hey, do we have anything? Oh no, we already told people about joining our Patreon. Join the Patreon. Daniel and I are looking at some uh, live dates. It is our Wouldn't that hope. Be the most fun. It is our hope. And our belief that maybe uh, we can start to put together road dates if the world is truly changing. Infection rates got to drop to a certain point, and sure. if we feel like the vibe is good and our audiences would be safe and we'll be safe, do you uh, remember we were, were going to do get stuff on Saturdays? Yeah, or like we were going to be like, hey, let's all go yeah. like uh, I don't know, take like shelter dogs for a walk or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. I'd love. If we're we going to do, do stuff. We're going to do stuff. Things are changing massively with this show. We're going to do some stuff. Here we go. Okay. Howdy, doody, tootie, fruities. Feels like it's more to me. I just think it's great. To- Wait, why do you think it's more to you? S- started out with a D. Doody, fruity. Oh. Ooh. Right. Doesn't it, you, you, there's no way to not do that. Howdy, doody, tootie, fruities. How is tootie, fruities not a cereal? Or is it? Probably it? is. Howdy, doody, tootie, fruities. Been loving the podcast. Thanks. I'm a penny on my way to becoming a paller. You know what? In a way, we all are. I work at the coolest cheese shop ever in Cincinnati. Go Bengals. Okay. Called The Rhine. Well, I don't know when this is going to drop. Who gives a shit? When is You're what, recording dude? this third week of the NFL season. Why Who are you even saying <laughs> go dude, Bengals? I'm just predicting that they might have a good season. I like Joe. You do? <laughs> you do like Joe Burrow. Here's why I do like him. Because he... The post-game cigar. All It's of it. just a badass move. And the gelled hair with the, the gelled rim hair, glasses. The glass, and and the, when people call him out, he goes, I don't know, I think I like it. And I'm like, you're just a fun dude. <laughs> Every now and then, you get a quarterback who's a fun dude. We you should know? get him on. I'm going to call him. Okay. LSU. I have some LSU connections. Uh, it's called The Rind. What a great name for a cheese shop. And love our wacky little team. I love that that's how it's called. This person's fun. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fun going Mm -hmm. on here. Something we do whenever we have a new hire or even just a customer who's lingering for a while is ask the following question. If you were a fruit, Mm -hmm. what fruit would you be? Not what is your favorite fruit, but what fruit captures your essence? For example, and I agree with this, Conan O'Brien could be either a banana or a pineapple. Bananas are the silliest fruit. <laughs> I love how subjective that is, and you just kind of go with it. But yeah. then you're like, wait, why? Right. And pineapples are the symbol of welcome. 
Also, look at that covering of a pineapple. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Well, I got thorns. You, well, we're going to get into it. <laughs> Keep going. And they have big, crazy hair. Got to agree with that. I'd love to hear your thoughts. High fives all around and wishing you well, Gloria. Gloria, you are a basket of joy. I can First, just tell. I can feel it. Can I work forward? <sighs> Always. Do you have a favorite cheese shop? Yeah. I want to hear it. I mean, there's so few that I know of, but just say cheese over on... Uh, you, Next to the Trader you, Joe's uh-huh. on uh, Rowena. Uh, it's it's not Rowena. Hyperion, yeah. What are you getting? Great. Uh, Gouda. Five-year-aged Gouda. That's your jam? <laughs> you know why? That's your cheese. The guy who works there, he might be the owner, too. I don't know. But every time I walk Acts in, like it. every time I walk in, do you, do you know what I'm talking about? Do you mm-hmm. go there? I've been every there. time I walk in, he goes, you got to try this. And I'm always like, hell yeah, I'd First love to try all, it. First of all, that is the most pro move it's, at any it's, sort of... You have this giant block of cheese... You've just walked in. Yeah, I'm trying this. to sell this cheese. If yeah, I give you a sliver and you like it, I'm like, yeah, then buy it. And you're going to yeah, if yeah. you like it. Yes. Every time he's gone, Even you got to try like this. You're going to like that attitude. Yeah. He let me try the five-year age Gouda. I bit into it. I was like, oh, my God, that's amazing. I don't even know what Gouda is. I don't know cheeses. Don't the cheese is like wine to me. I don't know any of it. Sure. It tastes good than great. You're I'm like, all I know is it comes out of a bottle. All I know is this is usually expensive. <laughs> <laughs> what are you putting? What are you doing with a Gouda? A little preserve? Uh, no, just a, a cracker. Uh, oh, I can't remember the name. It's like Mary's Crackers. Don't worry about that. They're not... Mary's Crackers. I guarantee you there's a listener that's like, he's right. Mary's Crackers. No. The only cracker you need Is maybe life. the best cracker I've ever had in no. my life. No, 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 no. This is, uh, here the comes only... Captain's Wafers. The only, no. <laughs> Captain's Wafers. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I would do Captain's Wafers for life. You said, here's an oyster. I go, put that on a Captain's Wafer right. and pull a little tree. <laughs> Toasted's. <laughs> Toasted. Yeah, if okay. you're going with a spread, do you give me a little toasted? Give me some toasted. I'll do that. Oof. Dude, you're not. And look, you hand me any cheese, any cracker, I'm on board. I'm on board. Unless it's blue cheese. Tastes you like don't a, like blue cheese? Tastes like a basement. I think, have what? we said that? I've said that so many times in my life, I don't know if I've said it on this show 20 times. Yeah, you're, the way you react to me. I, I would hate know. blue cheese. I hate you it. You hate it? Hate blue Crumbled? cheese. Crumbled? Dipped. Hate it. Hate All it. forms. Don't, I don't want to take a chicken wing, and I don't want to put it in blue cheese. I'm going to put it in ranch, and that's where I draw the line. I hate blue cheese blue so cheese much. Blue cheese burger. Hate it. I can't stand the taste of it. What do you, are you a cilantro guy? Well, I don't mind cilantro, but cilantro cleans me out. Do you know about this? No. A lot of pe- I tell a lot of people, and they're like, that's not what cilantro does. Go look it up. Cilantro, if you have a reaction to cilantro, it cleans you out. And the first time that happens... You're going to be lucky to find a bathroom. <laughs> and, it, and and then from there, it's going to take you three you years of, to realize it's cilantro. Are you thinking of cocaine? I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm covered in it. No, cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> but cilantro, Okay. again, there's a listener going, this is the truth. So wait, I never knew you hated blue, is blue cheese. Blue cheese your number one no. When it comes really? to cheese? Yeah. Murder, probably murder would be number one. Uh, but then <laughs> blue cheese. I, I just no, but can't food, stand your it. Your number one food, no. If they're like, and it's uh, blue cheese, you're like, no blue cheese. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's I've, animal, and I've, it's and animal and onions. I've, here's the thing. But not, I'm not I've tried. I'm I've not like tried. you. I just, I've truly tried. I believe you. Because when people are like, oh, man, these way. chicken wings with blue cheese, I'm like, and you see how someone says that, and you see the way they eat it, and you're like, I want that. Yeah, that's why I feel I about people admit, with onion rings. I don't necessarily love ranch with the chicken wings, but I want to dip it in something. And the option is either you give me a side of extra wing sauce, which is totally fine. What's a what's wing sauce? Well, you know, like what the what it's already like cooked oh, in. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, They go, yeah, yeah. you know, like barbecue, yeah, 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 a side sure. of barbecue sauce with a barbecue sandwich. Right, right, right. Um, and because I, I don't necessarily want ranch all the time. But I have tried to do blue cheese, and I mean, the moment I bite, I go. I, I, I wasted the wing because I can't eat it. I just don't like wow. it. Wow, tastes like a, tastes like licking the floor of a basement. Can, can I see one more question? And <laughs> he I ask me a hundred questions. Uh, ketchup with your eggs? I don't do that, but I could. I never. It wouldn't. It doesn't even. It's I don't not even a turn off. Understand how it appeals to people. I'm fine. I'm not out here crusading against people. Sri, sri racha on eggs. Whatever I do, I do, I, I do care. that. I do that sure. more than ketchup. I just ketchup, but you do ketchup with your grilled cheese, right? I can. It's not a go-to for me. I can eat grilled cheese plain. I can do grilled cheese do dipped in French the tomato plain? soup. No, I love okay. ketchup. Yeah, we're not insane, uh, dude. I love ketchup. I love, be ketchup. Very, I love ketchup, but on eggs or eggs, I just don't get it. I don't get it either. I actually, I mean, I like eggs, so I don't. 
Me too. I'm not like, put ketchup on this. No, put the eggs on toast with way too much butter. Elliot, Elliot hates all sauces. She do doesn't mean? do it. She doesn't want tomato sauce on her pasta. She doesn't want ketchup with fries. She doesn't want ketchup on a burger. Kids want things plain. You want to know what kids eat? This is what 99% of kids eat. Buttered noodles with Parmesan cheese. They don't want sauce. It is really good. It is good, but that's all they want. You go, yeah, but this tomato sauce is really good. I don't get it away from me. Is it because their taste buds haven't developed? I think so. I think there's something. They just don't want sauce. They don't, I don't want know if taste ketchup. buds do develop, to be honest. They do. They, sh- they develop and change over time. The chips. So who knows? Just like the chips. Who knows what year I go, Daniel, I come in here and we go, I go, Daniel, I like blue cheese. <laughs> hey, <laughs> the thing I love, the what place, is, my what place? Is, What's like a no for you, though? Onions. But you can't. If but someone I'll said, I'll try them on anything. I was about to say, but I know I you don't, don't have a you don't have an allergic reaction. No, I think cilantro. But I know cilantro, I, oh, I. Oh, have you know a what reaction. is a no for me? Capers. Get these fucking capers out I'm of here. Capers, guy. I know what you mean. I just. What are we doing? I, with I this? know what you mean. And also, and what you is know, this? somebody at some point was like, "Oh, throw capers in there." Like and, it's and never needed. Like, those it's aren't even never edible. Needed. Someone's like, "Those aren't even edible." They're like, "They're like edible enough." Well, put it with something that makes it feel like right. Put it with something where someone will know. Sauce. Yeah, I don't know. I get the fuck out of here with capers. When I do the, the the bagel locks, all that, I'm like, I don't need capers with it. Oh yeah, I even forgot they roll in that like too. It. Why I are they like they, it. Why are they there? Capers show up. Locks is just salmon, right? Yeah. Why just call it salmon? Just call it salmon. I don't know. There's a reason. There's okay. a reason that we won't know. We'll never learn. <laughs> Somebody told me once that uh, bagel and locks was Jewish sushi. Jewish Jewish sushi. Yeah. I don't know. Is that offensive? <laughs> Who told, Daniel, where did you get that? Is that not true? My KKK friend. <laughs> He's not in the KKK. He just has views. Okay. He's just in some forums. What know. forum did you meet that friend? I feel like I offended people. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't sit here and say that you did or didn't. I have no well, idea. Well, now I'm worried about it. You should be. My favorite. This is where ratings come from. Mm-hmm. Any press is good press. Mine is called the Mouse House, and someday you're going to go there. Wait, what is what? My cheese place. Oh, wait, Wisconsin? Mm. It's got to be. It's uh, in between Madison and the cabin. Do you like cheese curds? Yes. Yeah. Do what do you, you put on them? Yes. You don't put time. anything on them. You eat them. Are you talking about fried what? or just raw? Tell you what, before you try cheese curds, you definitely want to know if you're lactose intolerant or not because I've also gone down that road. <laughs> Madison, Wisconsin has attacked me several Wait, times. Wait, you, but you're eating fried ones. Fried are obviously great. They're fine. But I'm talking, you just get it like cheese curds, like a, just a cheese curd. I've maybe out of a only bag. had fried. I mean, my education of it is so limited. Dude, you roll into that mouse house? Yeah. Oh, my God. Poutine? You like poutine? Of course. Could you imagine not? Poutine? Sorry. I don't know how it's said. <laughs> could you imagine Safe place. Could you imagine being a person who doesn't like that? Could you imagine someone being like, anyways, it's fries covered Your in cheese curds like and it. gravy. It's got a sauce. Forget her. I'm talking about real people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about Americans. <laughs> All right. What kind of fruit would you be? I don't know. I don't know either. Also, the pineapple, you flip that upside down. You know what that is, right? A chandelier. I have no idea. Rory. Upside down cake? I don't know. It's how people identify as swingers. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. If did I see, know that? I think I did know that. If you see an upside down pineapple, those people are looking for a good time. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Um, I have a friend I went to high school with. How did that become that? That's what I always wonder about this stuff. <sighs> that's, and that's what that's why life is fun, because there's questions. Because someone did it first. Yeah. And then everybody else was like, yeah, that'll be our thing. Yeah, that's it. But that person will never get credit for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. No one will ever know. Yeah. Um, like Timmy pineapples. I have no idea what kind of fruit I would be. What What, what do you think I am? I don't know, but here's the problem. We want to say a funny sounding fruit. Do we? I, you, I try to think of one that just actually makes sense that I can go, this, because of this. But you don't have one? For you? Sure. Um... Orange comes to mind. Why? Well, because an orange... Are you doing a bit? No. An orange, you have to peel it. And the way that you're going to peel it is with your hands. I went teeth and it And it kind, yeah. of, it kind of annoys you. And you got to work at it. You're being... But when you get jumpy. in there and you do work at it... That's some good juice. You like what you got. <laughs> you're a nut. You like what you got. And you can do a bunch of different stuff with it. You can do the juice. You can just eat the slices. I don't know. I feel like it's a decent answer. You know what? Maybe maybe you're a little box of raspberries. 
You mean that? <laughs> <laughs> I find it so like complimentary. Are you fucking be real right now, <laughs> dude. Don't you think raspberries are super fun to eat? Yeah, I like raspberries. First of all, very you're healthy. getting all that texture. A little box right? of raspberries. You get all that texture. That's the most you've ever hit on me. It, you're a little <laughs> box of raspberries, aren't you? That sounds like how someone did it on someone in the close. 40s. I pull you in close. What are you drinking there, you little box, box of raspberries? <laughs> <laughs> then you kind of keep listening. What do you got there? I'm a detective. <laughs> no, the good thing about a someone raspberry. Someone ever called me a box of raspberries. There you go. You have my full and complete attention for as long as you need it. From one <laughs> from one end of it, you're just kind of eating the texture, right? But yeah. the other end, it's it's like a it's almost like it's like the fruit version of a bugle. Oh, because you can kind of it you hollows can, out on the it other does end. Does hollow out? Yeah. yeah, and you can kind of eat it from the other way. Yeah, and I think that you're very you're you're multifaceted like that. Yeah, a box of raspberries. I'm not. You know, uh, my friend Janelle and I talk about this. I like melons, watermelon wins as the melon. As like in the melon family, you go watermelon because right. almost at, like very. Rarely do you run into somebody who goes, I hate watermelon. It's so rare. You oh. run into somebody who's like, I don't like watermelon. How often do you run into somebody who's like, I love cantaloupe? Like that's my, that's but my you point. know what? I that's think Rosemary point. Van Kirk does. Cantaloupe, I think Rosemary loves Van Kirk. Cantaloupe, cantaloupe, honeydew. Um, any melon you can think of. Honeydew is, this is Ryan's deal. That's at the way bottom. below watermelon. Watermelon is like so up there. What are your melons? Watermelon, cantaloupes, cantaloupes honeydew, honeydew, musk melon. Did you make that up? I don't think so. You're such a little box of raspberries right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, a musk melon's a real deal. I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that. Is a lemon a melon? No. No. That might be all of the melons. There's no way. We're, we've become that podcast that's looking for constant engagement. Anyways, hit us up at 1-800-432-6700. <laughs> and tell us what your favorite melon is and how many melons you think are out there. Okay, so you're... A box of raspberries. I'm a box of raspberries. I'll take that. And I'm an orange. And you're an orange. I'll take that too. There you go. Um, What's your favorite kind of apple? Honey crisp for me. Can I be honest with you? You don't know apples. I've never... An apple's an apple. Can I tell you something? And I know they're not. I know they're not. I know a Granny Smith doesn't taste yep. the same as a, a If I a put sugar five moon red apples in front of you and they're all different, and you got to eat them side by side... That is when you would go, okay, apples aren't just apples. I know they're I not. I get it. But I'm just saying if somebody goes, you want an apple, I'm, you're never going to hear me go, see if they have any. Honeycrisp. Just change it to Honeycrisp Why? and like that be your answer. Granny Smith's good, right? Nah, you like Honeycrisp. And then there's all, isn't there like <laughs> five or six different ones and they just keep making new apples? Was the apple really ever that bad? No, the apple's fine. And Hun then, well, if it's a Honeycrisp. <laughs> you, how do you know? Because I've had Honeycrisp and I'm like, that's a fucking good apple. But have you had a bad apple? No, but if someone said, do you want, uh, is it Fiji or Fuji apple? See, I don't Fuji, know. Fuji. If someone said, do you want a Fuji or a Honeycrisp? I'd go Honeycrisp all day long. If someone said, do you want a Granny apple or a Honeycrisp? I'd go Honeycrisp. But if you, and I've had those. But others. if you I know grabbed what an like. apple and it was, I would a, eat it. And it was a Fuji. I would eat it. You wouldn't go, ah, oh! <laughs> <laughs> this, <laughs> this is who we are here. Let's be very clear. Even a blue cheese bite I didn't expect, I don't go, <laughs> That noise was beautiful. Oh! <laughs> That's the closest to like a Homer Simpson. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I just went, because oh, I thought, could I have said bacon wrap date for you? I would eat bacon wrap date. I mean, bacon but wrap I mean, date's could, great. Could, that, could you say, could that be your fruit answer? Oh. That's a good thing. That's a good, dates are fruits, yeah. But could you say dates are like good for you? Three a day, right? I mean, you're supposed Can to be three also a day. Full disclosure. Yeah. Um, if I'm having a hard time deciding what I want at a, at a cheese shop, and they start asking me like philosophical like questions, I'm just leaving. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, like, I'd be like, I do you believe in God? You're like, okay, what are we? <laughs> I'd be like, guys, because I, you can try a slice of God. I right couldn't here. pick <laughs> my pepper jack, <laughs> and you want me to now evaluate what I am in fruit form. I know. I would have to leave. And I wouldn't be mad at them. I'd just be like, Ugh. I'm already having a tough enough time over here yeah. with the Colby. I yeah. can't. Yeah. I'm just looking for some sliced okay. Swiss. One like, more question. Oh, all right. Your sandwich cheese. Yeah. What is it? Because <sighs> mine is unwavering. Oh, go. You should go first then. Monster, maybe. 
That's Give a me good a one. fucking you really think it blends with whatever solid, the sandwich. A Any solid sandwich. bread, some fresh shaved turkey. So it, Munster, but is it and have a little to be Miracle a turkey? Whip? Like if I switch no. to ham, are you still picking that <laughs> yes. cheese? I'll take a Munst. I think I think I probably go provolone. That's too specific of a cheese. You're gonna have provolone on any sandwich. Yeah, I feel like it has a very neutral taste, so I think it works with a lot. When's the last time you had stuff. a bologna sandwich? I don't like bologna. Would I eat it? Yes, I don't like it. I haven't had one since I was probably eight, maybe ten. <laughs> don't hold me to it. Ten. Gloria, I'll tell you what you you're a penny on your way to becoming a paler, but you clearly just passed the episode where you heard us talk about food and you said, "I know what these guys want to shit about." Also, I don't. If anybody ever wants to sign off and tell us their food, I don't hate it. Yeah. It doesn't need to be a thing, but I won't mind knowing. I'm going to think about it. I, you know, I'm going to think also, about this for way too when long. When someone says, "What fruit do you think you are?" Don't you kind of panic, going, "I only know the basics." Like in my head, I was like, "Yes, grapes, banana." Strawberries, oranges. <laughs> or then I want to do a bit, right? Because like kiwi is a bit. Yeah. Kiwi's a bit. Little cutie's a bit. Yeah. Right? Like I'm a little cutie. Kiwi has on a fur coat. And, and uh, then I started Janelle to and like I said that's why it's like the pimp of fruits because it has like a fur coat on that's it. That's a good <laughs> yeah, that Then I start to, like you, I panic that I don't know enough fruits. Enough fruits. And then you go, am I not healthy? And it's like, to know three fruits means you're probably doing great if you're digesting those fruits. Strawberry, blueberry, pineapple. Blueberries are raspberry. So I didn't do fruit a lot Grape. as a kid. Then you got all your grapes. Really? I didn't. I didn't want the. I don't like the. It's just too tart. Everything was too tart for me. Would but as I've like, aged, like a little acid in your mouth, too much. I think so. Maybe that was it. But I, I gotta say, as I've aged, make a little bowl of yogurt. I put some peanuts in there. I put cashews in there. I put granola in there. I put strawberries in there. I put blueberry in there. I put bananas in Acai. there. Acai. Acai. We lost listeners on that. <laughs> Hashtag Acai. Now, how do you want him to spell that? I don't know, but he does a- have to put in parentheses whispered. Sexually whispered. Okay. Hashtag sexually whispered. Um, Gloria, <laughs> high five. I, if, if when, I, when I'm in, in Cincinnati, I will yeah. definitely be there. We both will at some point. Oh, 100%. Uh, I'm definitely stopping by the rind and, and letting you know that I've probably changed my answer for who I think Daniel is um, now that I know I'm a box of raspberries. I actually, I'm going to go in. You go, how are you doing? What are you looking for? And I'm going to go, what pairs with a box of raspberries? And then, and then they're you. like, no one knows what you're talking about. Gloria doesn't work today. And I'm like, oh, uh, it's Sorry. from a show. I'm on a pocket. You know what? Uh, g- g- Gouda, five-year Gouda, that's all I know. <laughs> I like a good brie too. Ooh. Yeah. Well. I like whatever cheese you're supposed to wrap prosciutto around. And I know mozzarella is always a go to, but there's another one and I can never remember what it's called. There's no better uh bio on Daniel's social media platforms than I like whatever cheese you're supposed to wrap prosciutto in. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> That's a great little log line. Uh, Gloria, we wish you well. Sincerely, your pen pals, Rory Scovel. And Daniel Scovel. That was fun, Mark. That was great. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> so, so late.